So we're replacing this old Kenmore washing machine that broke with this frigid air one. Okay, so we've unmounted this part of the dishwasher. So you'll unmount it here and here, and then you'll be able to pull out the dishwasher. And then from there, you'll turn off the water line under the sink. And then unplug the dishwasher or move it out. Okay, we removed the dishwasher and now we're going to open this up. I guess they tested it because there's some water right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, probably. Okay. The right. Side. All right. It's ready to install now. Okay, so we have the hose right here and we're going to use the old hose from the old dishwasher with the new dishwasher and we're going to use the same water line but it needed an adapter to attach to the new dishwasher so we had to run to Lowe's to grab the adapter and it also comes with um, several other adapters right here. So just in case that one doesn't work, there's other ones you can choose from. And this is a new hose, so you can always just save the new hose just for a backup. So screw the adapter on. And then you'll attach everything to the dishwasher. I'm glad we left that bowl there where the original hose is because look how much water it's accumulated. So we have a dilemma. It doesn't come with a power cord. So we are going to try one solution first. This is our old washer. We're going to use the old power cord from the old washer and put it to the new washer. Yay! Intermission break for this little fe fella. New plug. Turns on. Okay, the dishes are fully loaded. Our... Okay, this is this is how dirty the, all the plates are. I don't like putting the knives like that because you can accidentally fall onto the dishwasher and hurt yourself. So now let's start a test load. So I'm going to use the cascade sample they gave us. Okay, so we press start. We're going to do a normal wash, and I guess you have a favorite button. You just have to hold the button for three seconds to save the my favorite button. So we're just going to test this out. Um, start, and then we have dry, max boost, water pressure, scour. Okay, and over here. It's wash temp, sanitize, high, and normal. So let's start. Okay, it looks like it has 69 minutes left. And if you can hear it, it's not very loud at all. We have it um, kind of poked out still because we want to make sure it's not leaking and it's and everything is installed properly before we mount it to before we mount it in place. Okay, so it's done. So let's take a look at it. Shows clean right there. 
this dish right here. This is the dirty dish that I showed you. And it's clean. Wow! Everything looks pretty clean. Yep, everything looks clean. So yeah, this is, seems to be good. Um, I'm going to keep using this for a little while and then if I have any issues, I'll update my this video, but if it doesn't have any issues, then I won't be updating it. And this is so satisfying right now.